Solving trigonometric equations. Question 3. Give general solution to the equation tan 2x equals to 1. So this one is the last question on my general solution thing, right? Well, figuring out general solution is kind of tricky. And let's now see for tan. We have already done it for sine and cosine, right? Now, the equation here is tan 2x equals to 1. So we are expecting a positive value. And, you know, tan is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. And therefore, we are expecting two solutions at least, right? Now, let's try to solve it and see what exactly could be the solution. So we have tan 2x equals to 1. Now, when is tan x? So in general, we, have, we know that tan theta is equals to 1 when theta equals to, we can write 45 degrees for those who are doing in degrees and pi by 4 for those who are doing in radians, correct? Both are the same things. So tan is 1 for 45 degrees or pi by 4 when this angle happens to be in the first quadrant, correct? Tan is positive in quadrant 3 also, so it is 1 here also, correct? So this is the second solution. And therefore, these two solutions are in radians pi by 4, right? So 4 pi by 4 is already there, so we have 5 pi by 4. So that is in radians and in degrees, you can write this solution as 45 degrees, that is this is 45 degrees, correct? And then if you go 45 plus 180, right? That is what it is. The other angle, right? 45 plus 180 gives me 225 degrees. So these are two solutions when we just restrict our domain to let us say 0 to 2 pi and that is for x, okay? The function is how was tan of 2x, correct? Anyway, we need to find general solutions. That means, uh, so now every, every circle additional 2 pi will give you these two answers, right? As you can see, time period for tan is pi or 180 degrees, correct? So after every pi or 180 degrees, the values repeat, right? Do you see that? So it'd be plus pi, you get that. So it repeats, right? Therefore, in general, we could write the solution as, uh, let me write in pi first. So general solution we could write for theta. Let me write for theta first. Let's say 2x is theta, right? So we'll write for theta. The general solution should be pi by 4 plus n pi. Pi by 4 plus n pi. Where pi is this and n is any integer. Where n belongs to set of integers. Correct? So we could write that as one of our solutions. Right? Let's write n as 1. What do I get? I get pi by 4 plus pi which is 5 pi by 4, that's correct. If I write n as 2, then 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. We get 9 pi by 5, that is 8 plus 1, that is also correct. So it works, right? So it is 4 times pi, so it works. So th that is the solution which we could write. And this could be written in general. We can take pi common, for example, and then it, let's say, So let's take common denominator of 4 and then what do we get? We get 4 pi plus 4 and pi, right? 4 and pi, which I could write as, I can write pi common, I can write pi by 4 and I can write 1 plus 4n, right? Like this. So this could be my general solution for, for theta, right? So let me write it in like 4 and first and then write pi as 4n plus 1. So that is a general solution for theta. Now, in our question, we have tan of 2x equals to 1. Therefore, 2x is equals to theta. So we can write this as 2x is equals to pi by 4 times 4n plus 1. That's the general solution. So x is equals to pi by 8 times 4n plus 1. So general solution for tan 2x equals to 1 can be written in this form.